In this tutorial, we are going to deploy a React application for free using render.com. At the end of this tutorial, you will have your React application on a website on your domain name dot on render dot com. You can change it to your custom domain using paid service from render.com. Let's do that. Let us start by opening VS Code and open a new terminal. Go to your favorite folder. I just go to desktop and create React application using this command. npx create React app, set app name to my app and press enter to create React application. It takes a while to install React, React DOM, React script packages using CRA templates. There we are. Let's follow the instruction here, cd my app, and instead of running npm start, type code space dot to open React folder in a new instance of VS Code. Then here, open a new terminal and run npm start to start your React application. Great, it's time to deploy application at localhost column 3000 to render.com. Before going for render, we need to create GitHub account. If you already have GitHub account, skip this step. Otherwise, click on sign up on github.com, enter your email, and follow the instruction here to create GitHub account. After creating GitHub account, go back to VS Code and click on source control and click on publish branch. If you didn't connect your VS Code to GitHub, you will need to enter your email and password on GitHub here and connect your GitHub to VS Code. I already did it, so I have this option. The name of repository is going to be my app. You can enter whatever you like. And I have two options to publish my React application on GitHub as private repository or public. I'm going to select public repository. Awesome, it's publishing to GitHub, uploading files, and there we are. Let's open on GitHub. Aha, uh -huh. I have my React application on GitHub at this address. Good, let's go for the next step. Go to render.com, click on get started, select GitHub, and here enter your GitHub email and password and click on sign in. If you already sign in, just accept access to GitHub by render.com. Then go back to render.com and click on dashboard. Click on GitHub and there we are. Let's click on new, select static site, select my app, the newly created React application on GitHub and click on connect. Enter a unique name for your static website like I just said my coding web master app to make it unique. Select a branch. For the branch, select master because in your repository, you have master branch. For root directory, keep it as it is. For build command, select yarn build. And for publish directory, keep build. Then click on create static site. You will be redirected to this page. And here you can see the terminal log like this. It installed dependencies with npm and run react script build to build your react application in the build folder. Awesome, it's done. It's time to uploading your build and your site is live. Let's test it. Click here on your website address and there we are. We deployed our react application at this address, my custom subdomain name on render.com. You can go to the setting and scroll down to custom domain to add your custom domain here. Also, you can go to redirects and rewrites, add a rule for all URLs using slash star. The destination would be index.html. Let's make it index.html and save it. Let's test the result. Here, after the domain name, enter something like my page when you press enter you will be redirected to the index.html and you will see the react homepage again 
So you can implement static client-side routing using React Router DOM by having this setting in render.com. That's it about deploying React application on render using a static site service from render.com.